E5 Security available as an add-on to Microsoft 365 Business Premium? Surely not. But yes, let's check it out. Microsoft 365 Business Premium just got a whole lot bigger because as per this tech community article on Microsoft.com, Microsoft 365 E5 Security is now available as an add-on to Microsoft 365 Business Premium. And this really is a game changer. It's not been possible to get that E5 value if you are in the 365 Business Premium plan, which only goes up to 300 licenses for that SKU. So you are going to get all of this lovely goodness available to add on with E5 security now if you have business premium. Absolutely marvelous and game changing. You're going to get things like extended detection and response, identity threat detection and response, enhanced device security, so much more. And you can see here on this web page an idea of the monthly costs that are tied to that. So uh, it's, it's definitely going to be worth doing it. So when is this going to be available? Let's have a look at the frequently asked questions. E5 Security is available for purchase as an add-on to Business Premium starting today. That was the 6th of March when this article came out. So it's there right now. You can purchase it as an add-on to Business Premium through Microsoft Security for SMB's website or through your partner if you go that way. Does 365 Business Premium plus Microsoft 365 E5 Security allow mixed licensing for endpoint security solutions? Good question. It doesn't support mixed licensing, so a tenant with Defender for Business included in Business Premium, along with Defender for Endpoint Plan 2, which is included in M365 Security, is going to default to Defender for Business. For example, if you have 80 users licensed for Business Premium and you've added 365 E5 Security for 30 of those users, the experience for all users will default to the Defender for Business Experience. If you'd like to change that to the Defender for Endpoint Plan 2 experience, you should license all users for Defender for Endpoint Plan 2. So there are some caveats there. What are the differences between Microsoft Defender for Business and Microsoft Defender for Endpoint P2? Good question. So Microsoft Defender for Business, or MDB, includes many of the same features as MDEP2, including enterprise-grade device protection for Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android devices, vulnerability management, next-generation antivirus protection, AI-powered endpoint protection and response with automatic attack disruption and automated investigation and remediation. That was a lot. MDEP2 adds endpoint security for IoT devices, threat hunting, and six months of data retention on the device. And you can get a detailed comparison available from this link. Okay, let's take a look at this in action. My tenant here, which I have ready to go and have a look at, I've got Microsoft 365 Business Premium in there. So let's go into that subscription. Let's just collapse that side panel. We'll go into there and have a look at my subscription. Give it a moment while it loads, there we go. Now, as you can see here at the bottom right, I've got add-ons, so I can find the add-ons that are relevant to my business premium subscription in purchase services. I can click into that from here, and here we go. The add-ons available to me, there's lots of them, but as we scroll through, the list, we can now see that we have got a Microsoft 365 E5 security trial. So you can get it as a trial first, which is awesome. So this is a complete set of threat protection solutions, leveraging cloud signal to detect and protect against threats to your organization. So let's take a look at the details of that. There's, a, there's another one down here, which is 365 E5 security managed trial. So I'm not quite sure what the difference is, but maybe we'll find out if we drill into them. Let's just go into the first one and see what we have got. Okay, so what we can do here is we can add on uh, this. So automated incident responses, 
a Microsoft 365 E3 subscription is a prerequisite for this plan. So that is suggesting to me that the eligibility has not yet trickled down to my tenant for this because this is contradicting what that article has just said that I should be able to, to do that. So I don't have an E3 license at the moment in this tenant. So that's interesting. I'm going to guess it's not going to enable me to, to go ahead with that. I'm just going to go back a page and take a look at what the other item there was. 365E5 security managed trial. I'm very interested to see what this is all about. A uh, complete set of... The description looks absolutely the same. So I really don't know what the distinction is there between E5 security and E5 security managed trial. So interesting. So I am going to guess, let's just test it actually. Let's just see if it will allow me to do this free trial. And I'm going to guess that it's not going to allow that. Uh, so let's go and make sure everything is filled in. I'm going to get a free trial. If you're doing it by free trial and you just want to test it out, then do be mindful that after that 30 day free period, you will get charged. So make sure you do cancel it. Um, so interesting. It's going to prompt me for verification. Processing the order. Do not close your browser. I'm all set apparently. Interesting. So although there was that little warning there, it actually has allowed me to do the trial. So let's go down to my user object, go into my licenses and apps. Wowza, there I have 365 E5 security. So I can save a license to my user object now. That is really interesting. Okay, so I've got E5 security there on my account. That's wonderful. Let's just bring this side panel out again. Let's have a little look in billing and your products. Let's see what we've got in here now. And okay, not products, maybe licenses. Okay, business premium E5 security. So there we go. Uh, what I do want to do is I want to go in and manage the subscription details. And I want to make sure that this is not going to renew automatically because I don't want to pay for all these licenses. Uh, cancel subscription. Uh, when you click cancel, this will be turned off immediately. Okay, you'll still be able to access information about it here for 30 days. Okay, I'm not going to cancel that just yet because I want to just have a quick look uh, at what is now included now that I have this assigned. So just be mindful to, to do that if, like me, you're just going to test it and you don't want extra charges. Let's just go back to my user object. Let's just go and find me and licenses and apps and if we scroll down and go to apps let's filter the licenses by e5 whoops e5 security and see what we're going to get now so we're getting a lot of stuff with this add-on we're getting defender platform for office 365 defend for iot do not use defender threat intelligence okay 365 Audit Platform, 365 Defender, Defender for Cloud Apps, Defender for Endpoint, Defender for Identity, Defender for Office 365 Plan 1 and Plan 2, because it's E5, Entra IDP2, Office 365 Safe Docs, and Purview Discovery. Cool. And you'll know that you can toggle these on and off as you, as you need to. So as compared to what we had only with Business Premium, you'll see that there's a lot of difference. So we've got some of these, we've got Azure Information Protection Premium P1, but not P2, because uh, P1 relates to E3 rather than E5. So we've got DLP there, but that comes with pretty much everything. 
What else have we got in the way of security? Cloud Apps Discovery, Enter IDP1 as opposed to P2. So we're getting a lot by getting this add-on. Uh, I'm impressed that this is here. So that seems pretty easy to do. Uh, make sure you cancel it, as I say, if you're just trying it like I am, and uh, make sure you've only got the right amount of licenses that you need. But really nice from Microsoft. Good stuff. So how about that then? That was quite easy to do, wasn't it? And uh, you can certainly see the value, I am sure. Those business premium organizations who are consuming that SKU, the ability to add on E5 security, to me, is very, very game-changing. I think those of you who are aware of what business premium can deliver and the value of it will will definitely see that potential and uh, I think you should be looking at it if you're not aware of it so hopefully this has spread that awareness to you if you're using that SKU I think that's really exciting and a great great move by Microsoft just remember a couple of those little uh, pitfalls that I pointed out there that uh a uh, little misprint that says you need E3. It, uh, it, it's clearly a little bit of a glitch in the matrix, that. And, uh, and also, if you are trialing it as I did, be sure to turn off that renewal or cancel it when you, when you don't need it anymore so you're not going to get that automatic billing that you signed up for. Right, anyway, I think that's enough for another video. Let me know what you think about Business Premium and E5 Security coming together. I think it's wonderful, as I've said. Uh, hit me up in the comments, give me your thoughts, give me some questions. Always love to hear from you. Please also do me the favor to hit that subscribe button as well and the notifications bell as you do so. It takes a second, it's free to do so, and it helps me grow the channel so much, reach a wider audience and make more good content to share with my community. You can also become a member of the channel as well. Junior consultant membership level is 99 pence per month and there are some great perks. Members only videos, there are some more coming soon. I'm aware members, my apologies, I've not done many of those lately, but there are more planned very, very soon. So please bear with me. Thank you for your patience. And uh, that's about it for another video. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, travel well. See you next time. Bye-bye.